Good afternoon on this Tuesday, June 26th. This is the latest information on Tropical Storm Debbie and the rest of what is occurring in the tropics. As of the 2 p.m. Eastern Time Advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Debbie is still packing maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour, which is lower than what they have been, and Debbie could be downgraded to a tropical depression at any time. Debbie is also beginning to increase in forward speed. It's now moving toward the east-northeast at 6 miles per hour, and it is forecast to move into the West Atlantic by 8 a.m. on Thursday. The latest five-day forecast is taking the storm safely between North Carolina and Bermuda as it heads deeper off into the open waters. I can safely say for the first time in over a week that we have a very good model consensus not only between the tropical models but also between the dynamical models and as you can see the latest tropical model suite is in agreement with the official forecast track and once the storm exits Florida we very well could be done with Debbie. Until then, we still have an additional 36 to 48 hours of heavy rainfall across Florida, but you can see the center of circulation moving closer to the Big Bend region, and it will be making landfall later this evening, but even during the overnight hours, we do run the risk of significant torrential rains spreading across the northern half of the state, and this does include the city of Jacksonville. The latest five-day precipitation forecast from the HPC is still showing a 10-inch bullseye. However, this is shifting more and more to the east of Florida, and we are looking at no more than an additional 2 to 8 inches, which relative to what we have been seeing over the past week, we'll take that, especially knowing that the rainfall period will soon come to an end. The latest visible satellite also shows the center of circulation moving closer toward the Big Bend coastline, while the center remains completely exposed from any significant convection. However, we do see periodic increases in convection just toward the north, and that is why we cannot rule out heavy rainfall across northern Florida and even into extreme southern Georgia. The good news is that no re-strengthening is expected until the storm moves into the West Atlantic. As you can see on the water vapor, there is a lot of dry air being filtered into the northern Gulf, and this is because we're on the eastern side of the ridge that's located over the central United States, and also the water temperatures in the northeast Gulf have cooled significantly due to upwelling from the storm. Here is a more regional look at the water vapor, and you can see the very intense ridge over the central United States, and a major heat wave is beginning to set up with many areas receiving temperatures on a daily basis in excess of 100 degrees Fahrenheit. But over on the eastern side, this is the saving grace for much of the southeast. Thankfully, Debbie will not be with us for much longer because it will be quickly sent off into the West Atlantic and likely never to be seen again. And Compared to yesterday, the models are no longer really that enthused about keeping the system off the eastern seaboard for an extended period. Rather, they are quickly taking the storm out to sea. This is the latest forecast from the GFS model, and we see Tropical Storm Debbie slowing up temporarily in the West Atlantic, but another trough is forecast to sweep toward the south and fully capture the tropical storm, and therefore it will move safely out to sea, whereas we don't really see anything else in the tropics throughout the next six to seven days across the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, or Central Atlantic. The other dynamical models are also keeping the Atlantic Basin quiet, although the only other thing to point out is that the day five of the ECMWF model forecast is developing a broad low to the south of the Gulf of Tuonapec in the eastern Pacific, and by day seven and day eight, it is progging the development of a tropical cyclone. As of right now, it is keeping the storm to the south of Mexico, and no other models are latching on to this development just yet, but that may be something that we start to monitor as we head into the second half of this week. So that's all we have for the tropical update this afternoon. Keep it tuned to 28storms.com and the Hurricane Tracker app for the remainder of hurricane season 2012.